All right, guys, in this next video, I want to show you how we can grab all the links on a particular web page. Uh, it's not really a full-blown like spider that's going to go crazy and just start scanning the web and all that stuff because, to be honest with you, I've been programming for years now and um, trying to maintain all that data uh, just by having uh, my spider go from link to link to link. I find I spend more time trying to figure out why the hell uh, you know I don't have what I'm looking for or I'm just trying to sift through the massive amounts of data that I end up having, uh, that I end up obtaining. I find it's usually easier to kind of go after one particular domain. Like, you know, if I'm scraping Amazon for uh, computer stuff or all the PlayStation 3 games on Amazon, you know, I'll attack basically, uh, you know, it's one thing that I'll be like, okay, well, that that's what I'm going to go after as opposed to um, trying to do anything crazy. I suppose if I were you know, Google or something like that. I mean, you know, they obviously have some of the best programmers in the world working for them and things like that. So I, I guess I'm not trying to be like a Google or create some um, latest, greatest search engine or anything like that just because I don't think I'm capable of it. But I, I can certainly make money by uh, getting certain bits of data that, you know, specifically that I'm looking for. Like I said, um, uh, I'm going to show you guys like how, like say if you wanted to grab every single comedy music or i'm sorry comedy movie on uh, wikipedia like you want to grab all the data for every comedy movie in the united states on a wikipedia domain uh, i'll give you just an example of how i would go about doing something like that and um you know that's not going to obviously solve your your situation on how to grab every comedy movie from every domain out there uh, I would imagine that would probably get you your IP address banned if you were going to uh, try to do something like that, just because of it, or your, even your own uh, internet provider might have a problem with that type of bandwidth being used. But um, you know, attack one particular thing. I think at a time is probably my suggestion until you're a really, really good programmer, and then I'm sure that uh, you'll be a lot better than me. But uh, for right now, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and I'll just show you how to grab all comedy movies on a Wikipedia website. So if, if you wanted to kind of adapt the same type of thing to another website uh, or another genre of whatever you may be looking for that maybe Wikipedia touches on or not. Uh, I'm sure Wikipedia has an API. Uh, as a scraper, spider builder, I don't like messing with APIs. I just feel like... I feel like APIs suck because I have to learn how to communicate with the API and all that stuff. And uh, I think it's easier just to build a spider, to be honest with you. Plus, you're kind of undercover doing that. Um, but let me go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, grab, like I said, the comedy movie domains. All right, so if I go to Google and I type in the, the list of comedy movies, you see the domain here. And this has friggin every comedy movie ever going back to the 1890s which is insane but um all these movies some of them are links some of them aren't and well these are links but they're just there's nothing there but um like you start getting most of these movies as we get into more modern days are actual links that have data that we would want to be going after so you know this is a lot of movies here and it would take somebody probably years it would seem you know at, you know, with boredom and it's taking time to sleep and and uh keeping your sanity to to kind of compile all this data like to get it into a database um things like that uh it seems like it would just take forever and this is just an example with wikipedia but uh like say i wanted to get every single movie um that's that's actually what we're going to do number one though we would identify we would have to extract every single link. So that would be step one. Let's get every single link for every one of these movies. All right, so first things first is let's go ahead and grab the URL here. Just copy that. And then put it, replace it where we had the band here. Okay. Okay, so we can keep all this to remain the same. We're going to open the URL. We're going to read it. Then we're going to bring it into Beautiful Soup. And we'll remove this part here. And I'm just going to paste this uh, line of code here. I'll explain it. But uh, we're doing a for statement on every link on the page. So what we're doing is using Beautiful Soup to, to find it. So it'll say, like, 
for a link in soup that find all a which is a building a list of all anchor tags in there and it, and the attribute I basically say um, if the href address so if the URL address contains the words wiki so uh, there's links on the Wikipedia page that would have um, that don't have wiki and I, and I don't want those because the movie if you look at every one of those movie pages they all have uh, this wiki address on the front of them so in this that's what this caret symbol by the way for uh, regular expressions it just means that the URL must start with forward slash wiki forward slash so that hopefully I'm not confusing you guys but um, bottom line it, the only URLs that we're looking for are the ones that have uh, the carrots well that, ha that start with forward slash wiki so let's just for right now go ahead and just print link and see what that happens see what happens there uh, so I still have my program named grab web page and as you can see it's um, going through and and just like I wanted it to it's grabbing every one of those forward slash wiki uh, URLs for every single movie on that page and hopefully it'll stop soon it's a lot of movies probably thousands um, all right, so that's how you grab every link, and we use Beautiful Soup to do it. So uh, you'll just want to store this little line of code here so somewhere in your in your memory, or preferably just uh, somewhere in some sort of directory of commonly used code that you have, because that's a good way to grab every single link on a web page. And then you can start doing logical operators on each link, like if the link contains so and so, or if it's longer than so and so do this do that things like that but um, uh, one second here we're going to move on to the next step I'm going to erase this now um, if you look at the uh, command prompt here you see that the actual movie that, that we want and we're, we're grabbing obviously this entire thing um, you know, I'm just thinking to myself on how we can make this uh, as useful as possible. So I could say maybe print link dot text. I wonder. I wonder if that would just get what I'm looking for here, because we don't. I mean, we have the entire anchor with. Yeah, see, that'll get. Damn, this is a big list. Um, this here. So you see we obviously just have the name of the movies. Now we actually have some stuff in here we don't want to, which is matching our URL. Our URL capture, which is like these um these years. And those are obviously links that also matched. Um so you could click on nineteen twenty nine and get all the movies there and everything. So we wouldn't want that. And let me think here. I'll figure out how to to get rid of those. The problem is, though, is that um, I don't want to just say if if it starts with a number, get rid of it. Because I mean, I could do that. I guess I could identify four numbers. But if I mean, there's like thousands of movies in here, so I'm sure some movies start with a number, and then I'd end up getting rid of those too. So. Uh, for right now, I'm not going to worry about how we should get rid of some of these links. I mean, they're really not going to hurt us that much. I mean, even if you were parsing each one of these files and saving it to a database, I mean, you could easily do like some sort of uh, database search based on like, you know, 19 and then just uh, you could erase. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that there's probably what, maybe maybe 100 of those out of here that you could identify real quickly in a database search and, and, and delete it. Or you could do some sort of regular expression, I guess, on it. But like I said, I would just be worried about maybe deleting movies that might start with some sort of a number that that wouldn't be my intention. And I'm sure that there's not that many movies that start with a number. But like I said, it, it's I'm not really sure the best bet on resolving that. Um, I think I would just go about deleting it after the fact after I've tried to scrape it because even if you try to request a movie page for 1955 and it doesn't match uh, the search criteria it'll just move on to the next item so for right now let's um 
let's move on and I'll show you how to um, get each one of these movies data automatically. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and, and stop this video here. Uh, the next video, we're going to continue to move into this series on how we would go about requesting each one of those pages uh, individually and do it all at one time so we have basically one bot working. And I'll finish that up in the next video. Thank you.